Welcome to Money Talk with Tiff, a podcast where we discuss everything money from tips and tricks to current events. Follow me on my journey to become debt free and meet other cool people along the way. I am your host, Tiffany Grant. Now let's talk money. All right, so this episode, I wanted to talk about income taxes. I had someone ask me the question, um, how does income taxes work? When they take it out of my check, how how do they figure how much to take? You know, pretty much how it all works on the back end. So I just wanted to touch on that a little bit today. Um, Just a little background about me. I used to be in payroll. Um, That was one of my many many roles in HR. And as part of payroll, I had to pay income taxes, both for the employee and for the employer. So I guess I'll just start there. So when you um, fill out the W-4 for an employer, you put how many exemptions you would want for your income taxes. And I highly recommend using the worksheet that's available on the form to give you a good baseline of what you should put as your exemptions. A lot of people default to zero or one, and then they end up, you know, paying too much in taxes throughout the year, therefore making their check shorter and then getting a big refund once a year. That's not the way to go. Um, It's better to just make sure that you withhold the right amount throughout the year with your paychecks. And then that way you're you don't get a refund or your refund is very minimal. Because if you think about it, when you get a big tax refund, it's because you paid too much in income taxes. So therefore, you're giving the government a free loan, basically, because they're not paying you any interest on that. They're just holding it for you until you file your taxes the next year, and then they're paying it back to you. So it's not like you're getting free money or anything. But I digress. Um, so once you go ahead and fill out your W-4, you give it to your HR department, they put it in the payroll system. Now, once that goes into the payroll system, there's some calculations on the back end that typically the payroll software does for the company or the payroll person. And that calculates how much taxes should come out of each and every check. The more exemptions you put on the W-4 form, the less taxes that will be taken out. So as a single mom with two kids, I claim about, uh, I believe it's nine now, um, because with the new tax laws, um, I did have to change it. And that's another reason why I recommend using the worksheet because it stays up to date with the tax laws. So um, mine is about nine exemptions. So my taxes, I pay very minimal throughout the year. And then I don't really get a huge refund. So once that happens and the money is coming out of your check every paycheck, that's not all the employer is sending to the government. They actually have to match which you are getting taken out dollar for dollar. And then that goes to the government. So for instance, let's say I get $200 taken out of my paycheck in federal taxes. Well, on the back end, the payroll department is taking that money, multiplying it by two, and then they're sending $400 just for you just for that paycheck to the federal government. And income taxes are used to pay for um, pretty much all the government um, benefits that we have. So Social Security, Medicaid, Medicare, food stamps, all of that stuff. All of that comes from income taxes. So it's very important that we have enough workers um, to have those income taxes coming out. And you know, just to roll this into like current events, that's what the big fuss is about. We don't have any, we don't have enough workers here in the U.S. to fulfill that need. So that's why you keep hearing, oh, Social Security is going to run out, Medicare is going to run out, and things like that, because they need more workers to take the taxes out of those checks in order to pay those benefits to the people that are currently um, receiving them. So that's just a little bit about how income taxes work and 
how they're important to the government operating and to make sure you pay attention when you're um, filling out your W-4 form that you do put the right amount of exemptions. And another point is you can change your exemptions at any time throughout the year. So let's say, for instance, if you want to, um, if you're really nerdy and (laughs) you want to go ahead and pay a lot, so you want zero to, you know, maybe one or zero exemptions for half the year, And then for the second half of the year, you want to bump that up. So that way, you know, and mind you, you have to do the math for all of this, you um, even out. So you have no refund and you don't owe. That is the ideal scenario. But like I said, that would take a lot of math and a lot of consideration. And you would probably need to hire a tax professional for that. Um, But it is important to know that you can change it at any time. Don't think that once you are hired and you fill out the W-4 form and you, you don't look at it again, if you have children, you get married, all of those things, make sure you change your W-4 exemptions if applicable because it can make a huge difference in your paychecks. So anyway, um, I hope that answers the listener question about how income taxes work and what they're used for. Um, feel free to reach out and let me know if you have any other questions. Hey, yo, guys, I'm the, I'm the listener. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for listening to the Money Talk with Tiff podcast. For free resources and materials, head over to moneytalkwitht.com. And while you're there, why not sign up for our newsletter so you'll never miss an episode. Talk to you soon.